what's going on YouTube fragrance family? Hopefully you're all smelling well. Uh, today, as you can see from the title, a little bit of uh, good news, bad news, a uh, new beginning. And uh, as a lot of you uh, know about me, um, since uh, I first started on YouTube, I've always been as transparent as I can with uh, uh, the fragrance family. And um, you know, this thing, uh, this YouTube thing is, uh, a hobby of mine it's and that's exactly which lane it's in it's not a business uh i've never sold t-shirts and coffee mugs or anything like that there's nothing wrong with that um several years into uh being a youtuber i finally monetized uh um my channel um which i i never really had any intention for and that's not what i'm in this for either and uh and this is where i uh wanted to just uh, touch base with all of you guys. Some of you may have uh, noticed or haven't noticed um, all the videos in my uh, Robes 08 video library uh, from uh, the year 2009 when I first started uh, right up to 2016. So uh, seven years of videos have been removed uh, from my YouTube channel. Um, this was, uh, of course, uh, the reasoning behind this is uh, copyright infringement um, on my channel. And, and there's nowhere to blame, and I don't want the comments below to, to be about YouTube or anybody. Um, it is, uh, of course, the music industry. I've uh, utilized a lot of uh, music in my past videos, of course, for several years, as you can tell. That's why I deleted all of them. Um, I got a... basically... Uh, Within a five minute time frame, there was uh, YouTube uh, let me know that I, I had strikes on my channel and uh, I'm getting dangerously close to losing this channel as a whole. Um, any minute, basically. Um, when you remove a couple videos off my channel and tell me I have <laughs> one more chance, um, that was when any time I could have had that third email and I was basically my, my uh, Ropes Away channel would have been gone basically forever. Um, so, uh, the thing is, is, uh, with uh, utilizing, um, music on my channel that is copyrighted, uh, there's several things that the, the person that owns the music or, or the company that owns the music can do on a channel. Um, the worst of course is, is what happened to me. Um, I was very lucky for several years, uh, with, uh, I think I deleted over, I would say 800 of my videos. Um, if you go on social blade, you'll see that I lost nine ten million views I'm, I'm down to almost only two million views on my whole channel now um but um the reasoning behind that is because basically all i had was this short time frame to either a edit all the videos hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos and that would have taken a long long time or either back up the whole video library and delete it um i went with the latter um, I've spoken to a, a lot of YouTubers that had this type of experience before, um, you know, either A, demonetize, B, uh, privatize the whole uh, channel, um, and, and things like that. Um, I decided to go with uh, what I felt was best, and that means removing all that content uh, off the channel. Now, <laughs> that was hard for me to do, uh, of course, uh, when you put so many hours into a channel like I, I have uh, over the years. Um, that's a lot of content. And it's a lot of content that, you know, I left out there uh, for all of you to see. Um, that was the, the main uh, reason for it. And uh, removing that is, is kind of shitty, uh, to be quite honest. Um, so anyway... Um, not to drag this thing. Anyway, uh, I know I don't want anybody to go in the comments below and tell me you should have done this, you should have done that. It's done. It's done. Um, this is the way it, it happened. And you can say I'm wrong on I could have demonetized and everything would have been okay. Or I could have privatized all the videos and taken my time. I got the, um, the suggestion to not do those things. And, and the best scenario for me is to remove all the content that had music in it. And that's what I did. Um, so that's all gone. Um, so yes, I've lost several hundred videos on my channel, um, which again, I still have my channel. And that was the, the end game uh, when thinking about doing this. So I just wanted to update all of you guys on what's happening. Um, if you're looking for an old fragrance review, you know, I don't have a fragrance review on this on my channel anymore. 
<laughs> and the reason why uh, the thumbnail has this fragrance and this fragrance is um, anybody could have taken that as a very much a negative uh, thing and could have just went F it, close the channel, it's done, it's game over, whatever. Um, this is kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of showing you guys that, uh, you know, out with the old and in with the new. Um, so that's basically how I'm taking this, um, a new direction on my channel. Um, I don't know uh, as far as what I'm going to do with that old content. Will I edit it, take out the music and upload them again? Um, you know, some of them are pretty shitty quality, to be quite honest. Um, I might decide to just re-review them in due time. Um, there's a lot of classics, you know, my, my first review on, my very first review, Le Mal, of course, and there's, you know, fragrance reviews on One Million, Cool Water, Green Irish Tweed, Jubilation 25, um, all those videos are all gone. Um, so, I, to be quite honest, I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, I don't know, it's going to take a lot of time if I do want to re-upload re them. I'm not sure if I want to, with a, a lot of them lacking quality lighting. I have my new mic now, um, audios, some of them are pretty bad. Um, so it might be, you know, a new beginning that I could start going through them one by one and kind of integrate it with my other fragrance reviews. Um, but it is a lot of content that's lost. Um, so I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what, uh, how my week has been. Uh, kind of tough to be, to be quite honest, um, as far as the YouTube channel goes. Um, but I'm not, um, the reasoning why I did this and going back to 2009 when I first started, uh, was to, to make a library for all of you guys to, to watch. And it's only one man's opinion, but, um, I just recall back in 2009, I was searching for a fragrance and multiple fragrances, um, especially things that I got excited about and there was no videos on YouTube on that. And if I delete this channel and uh, I'm good and gone, um, the YouTube fragrance community is still in good hands. There's a lot of content being uh, thrown out there. So, um, so anyway, other than that, um, the support has been great. So I just want to thank everybody. Um, I announced it on Facebook uh, just to let people know that if you're looking for a certain fragrance review on me and what's going on with my channel, things like that. I just wanted to be transparent with all of you guys, let you guys know what happened. I'm not blaming anybody but me. Um, utilizing copyrighted uh, music in my fragrance review, sampling samples and all my videos, even if it was 10 to 15 seconds. Um, you know, some of them were uh, not monetized, but the creator found my, the music and they monetized it themselves to, to make money off, off my channel, which is fine. Um, and there's different avenues, like I said, um, and this, uh, company, uh, decided to just, uh, go for the jugular, I guess. Uh, so anyway, um, there's, I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what's going on as far as my channel goes, as far as content goes, I'm still pushing, I'm going to still push some stuff, but if uh, my channel all of a sudden is gone, um, at least you guys know uh, what happened. Um, it's not me. Um, if it's gone, it's because probably something happened as far as that went and the channel got shut down. Um, so just an FYI, um, I am, uh, of course, on Facebook, uh, FGN, my Facebook group. Uh, I'm on Instagram too. Uh, as far as fragrance related stuff, if this channel does um, get shut down, I don't know what kind of content or how I'm going to publish content, uh, but it's still a hobby that is uh, very much uh, things that uh, I enjoy doing. I love doing this. Um, big passion of mine. Um, I never really thought about quitting. It was just more about um, how am I going to mitigate that risk. Um, for me to continue with this channel, the Robes Await channel, with you guys, which is going to hit 30,000 subscribers. And that's, that's the thing that's important. Um, it's not the views. It's not the money coming in because there's hardly any money. Um, I don't really care about that. If I, don't, if I don't need to monetize, I won't monetize. I don't really care. Um, the, the content I care about and the subscribers I care about, those are the only real numbers I care about to be quite honest. And um, things like losing, you know, someone would probably pull their hair out that they lost 
how many views, 8 million to 10 million views overall on my channel because I had to delete them all. I'm not here to compare numbers, never was. Um, it was always about the content itself, uh, to throw out the best content I can for all of you. Um, so anyway, yes, um, I know there's not much energy in this video. Um, it's not something that I wanted to throw out too much energy just because there's not much energy to throw out, to be uh, quite honest. Um, but I am also excited to uh, start fresh uh, with the old channel. Uh, hopefully, I'm knocking on wood that everything will go well with YouTube um, in the next few months. Um, other than that, I just wanted to thank everybody. Um, you know, if this channel does get shut down and I can't redo a, a new YouTube channel or anything like that, um, I wanna take this forum to thank you all uh, for your support over the years. Um, if you've supported me since 2009, right up to just now, you just subscribed. Uh, I really, really appreciate, um, of course, that, that support. So thank you so much.